hell? I don't know if I don't like this. Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a really exciting video that I've been planning on doing for months and I'm so excited the day is finally here. So today we are going to be comparing all of the top self-tanning brands out there and finding out which one is truly the best of the best, if you will. So I'm really, really excited to film this video. Like I said, I've been planning on doing this for a long time. I thought about postponing it due to the current situation, but I found myself personally still using self-tanner like I would in our regular day-to-day -day because it honestly really is for myself. It just makes me feel a lot better. It makes me feel more put together. And I just like looking at myself in the mirror. I feel like it just makes me more confident, gives me that summer feeling. So hopefully this video is still somewhat helpful for you guys. So to give you a little backstory on my self-tanning experience, I have been using self-tanner since I was literally in like the seventh grade, which is kind of insane to think about and by that I mean like the Jergens gradual self tanning lotion that smell that still stings my nose to this day so yeah we've had you know our experience <laughs> through life with self tanner you know many orange hands oompa loompa moments missing the back of your arm we've done it all truly um, I've tried so many brands of self tanner since then and as a fairly pasty girl herself I think I have some pretty good experience to share with you guys. So I'm excited to go head to head with all of my favorite brands and some brands that I haven't tried before and really show you guys, you know, the difference between all of these products, some that might work better for you than others, and really who has the best, you know, shade overall. I'm very curious to see if one is strikingly more orange <laughs> than the next should be interesting. So let's take a look at the starting lineup of products that we will be comparing today. Now the first brand we're going to be looking at is the Tried and True Saint Tropez. I've probably been using this self tanner for the longest out of all of these. I would want to say I started using this all throughout high school and it's a product I still have on hand to this day. The product that I have by them to test today is the Self Tan Express. But this one is unique in the fact that if you apply it for one hour it's supposed to be the shade light two hours for medium and three hours for dark. So we're going to be testing those all side by side to see if that is factual as well as an additional tester for about eight hours to see if you can really achieve the darkest shade with only that three hour like they advertise. And next to that, we will be looking at the Vita Liberata, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, probably not, in shade dark. This is a product that I purchased as kind of an upgrade to the Saint Tropez and I'm honestly not sure if it is or not. It's advertised to last a lot longer than your average self tanner. It advertised lasting for about two to three weeks. I'm not sure if that has been my experience. We will see if this one fades similarly to the Saint Tropez or if it really does stand the test of time. But we're going to be comparing this next to the Saint Tropez and that way we can compare which one has the better shade, which one gives us the darkest result, all that good stuff. Another product that we're going to be looking at by Vita Liberata is their gradual self tanning lotion. This I honestly don't really know why I have this to be honest. I'm not really a tanning lotion person anymore. I feel like the foam is just a lot simpler and more effective but I have this so we're going to be stacking this up next to their foam tanner. This one is obviously a gradual lotion. So we'll just see what one application gets you. And next to that in similar fashion, we're going to be trying the Isles of Paradise self tanning mousse. The thing with Isles of Paradise is they are a clear self tanner, which I was a little bit skeptical at first to be honest. But since using this product in the last couple months, I have been really, really impressed. I think a big telltale is the fact that my tanning mitt is still clean looking, even though I've been using this product for the past few months. So yeah, very, very interesting. Next, I have a product that I'm super excited to look at is the Loving Tan 2-Hour Express Mousse. Loving Tan is a really popular brand as well that I've never actually been able to get my hands on. I live in Canada and I've always found that it's been a little bit difficult to purchase it here. But when prepping for this video, I did another look and I ended up finding it on Amazon out of all places. So I was really excited to find that. And we're going to be trying that out for the first time in this video. It is the 2-Hour Express in shade Dark. So we're going to be testing it with the 2-Hour wear time and then with about an 8-Hour wear time to see if you actually get you know the darkest results within that two hours. So I'm really really excited to see how that one stacks up to the rest in shade and wear. 
everything. It's been a really, really popular brand that I've always wanted to try. So yeah, excited to look at that one. And the last self-tanner that we will be looking at is the Jurgens self-tanning mousse. We took a little bit of a trip down memory lane, went back to our grade seven roots, and we found a Jurgens self-tanning mousse, which they definitely didn't have when I was in the seventh grade and I hope it has a different scent. But this will be in the shade Dark as well, and we will see. I'm a little bit nervous, hoping that we don't have Oompa Loompa vibes with this one, but we will see. Okay, so now that we talked about all the products that we're gonna be looking at, you're probably wondering how we are going to be testing all of these products next to each other, and I'm going to look like a zebra by the end of this video because we're doing test strips all down my pasty pasty arms. I'm going to section off my arms with some painter's tape and we're going to do section by section and we will see all of the facts, okay? I'm going to look a little bit crazy for the next few weeks, but thankfully it'll be in the comfort of my own home and maybe with a hoodie on, so. Okay, now for the fun part. We are going to tape off my arms. Since we're gonna be testing a couple of the brands a number of times depending on application time, like the Self Tanning Express, for example, we're going to be using four test strips for this one to see all of the different shades for a total of 10 total test strips on my arms. So we're gonna tape off five and five on each of these pale arms and see what we can map out. Tape time. I might need a little assistance for this. I don't know what I got myself into. sectioned off. My arms are a lot less mobile than I had anticipated, so I've enlisted an assistant and we are going to be applying all of the test strips. These don't even look like my arms right now. Um, and we will be back with the results. Yeah, I've done it a couple times. <laughs> Not to myself. like this one because it's hard to know how much you put on. Yeah. It looks like red. <gasps> what the hell? Oh my god. It looks like bloody. I don't know how I like this. Put your Ariana Grande in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we officially applied all of the self tanning samples. You can kind of see on this arm we did mainly the Saint Tropez in the different time increments, so it doesn't look too crazy. And then we have the clear Isles of Paradise, so you can't really tell on there. But on this arm, if you can kind of tell, this is the Vita Liberata. Very, very kind of green compared to everything else. We have the Jergens and then the two Loving Tan, which is pretty red. So quite a bit of a difference so far. I'll be leaving all of these samples on for their desired times and then I will check back with you guys with the final product. Okay guys, it is much later and I'm in with the results. And I'm not sure if you're ready for them because I truly was not. So let me just show you the results. You guys will have to decide for yourself because at this point I don't even know what to tell you. So... Yeah. These are my arms now. Um, this is what I live with. This is what I've become. So let's just jump on in to showing you the breakdown of each individual test strip. Okay, so for my left arm, we did the four test strips of the Saint Tropez Self Tanning Express Mousse. So on the bottom, as you can see, is our one hour test strip where we tested for the light finish of the self tanner. The second strip is the two hour, and I'm honestly not noticing much of a difference between the two. And then the third is the three hour, which you're supposed to get the dark finish, which again, the three test strips honestly all look pretty darn close to me, but 
but it's the fourth strip that I think is kind of interesting. So this is the strip that we left on for a little over eight hours. And the reason why we did a fourth strip is because I wanted to see if you would actually achieve the darkest look with only the three hour application. So we tested it for eight hours and as you can tell the eight hour application is quite a bit darker than the three hour but not a huge difference. I would label it as dark to extra dark if anything. And then on the very top for this arm we have the Isles of Paradise which I wish I could have filmed somehow just me standing still kind of like a time lapse of these developing because I was the most nervous about the Isles of Paradise which is really interesting since it has been my personal favorite over the past couple months but when comparing it to the rest of the self tanners as they were developing I really didn't see it developing until probably like four or five hours down the line so you definitely do need that like eight plus hour application for this one it really was a late bloomer in comparison to the rest but it's still a little bit lighter to the Saint Tropez. And then if we turn over to my right arm, this is where the results get quite confusing to be honest. So at the very bottom we have the Vita Liberata Gradual Self Tanning Lotion. And the second strip is the Vita Liberata Self Tanning Mousse. And I found it very very interesting that the Gradual Lotion appears to be quite a bit darker than the mousse. Even though they were left on for the same amount of time, both like 8 hours plus. And I thought that the Vita Liberata would be a lot closer to the Saint Tropez in color and darkness because I used those products kind of interchangeably over the past couple years and I hadn't really noticed much of a difference between them myself. But when you put them side by side, they're quite a bit different color and quite a bit different strength. The Vita Liberata is definitely more on like the greeny orange side where the Saint Tropez has more of that reddish undertone. And then if we jump up to the middle section on this arm, we have the Jurgens, which definitely was the wild card in this comparison. Another thing that I noticed about this one, if you guys remember from the application, it was quite red on the tanning mitt, and I was actually like, wait, what the heck is that? <gasps> what the hell? Like, I've never really seen such a red undertone in a self-tanning mousse before application, so I was really nervous about how that would turn out, but it's, it's not crazy, especially when you look at it compared to the loving tan on the top here again we tested the two hour express loving tan so we did a two hour test strip and then an eight hour test strip to see if you would really get like that full coverage in the two hours and they seem pretty darn close to me but the loving tan again was similar to the jurgens and having like that red foam and i was a little bit again kind of nervous and it does have a little bit more of a ready tint especially when you're comparing it to say like the vita liberata but, I mean, it's totally personal preference. So at the end of the day, one of the things I definitely noticed with the self-tanners is that they do all have just different undertones like you will find in like a foundation or anything else that's going to be trying to match someone's skin tone. Because everyone has obviously different undertones in their skin, some people do have more of an olive complexion, other people have more redness. So maybe you'll find one of these products will match your skin tones better. But at the end of the day, I thought this video was honestly really interesting. I love seeing the results myself. I'm really curious to see which self-tanner you guys felt came out on top. Honestly, as I'm sitting here, I don't know which one is my favorite. It's, it's really hard to say. I think at this point, I would have to say that the Isles of Paradise might still be my favorite. I just think that this tone might fit my skin tone better. And honestly, Saint Tropez is still pretty high up on my list as well. So again, like I said, totally personal preference. And now you guys know the facts. This is what we're working with. This is what my arms are going to be looking like for the next while. And if there's any other products that you guys want to see me kind of test out like we did in this video, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you later. Bye. Are you still there? To delete the message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?